Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be going over 13 vinyl hacks that will make your life much easier when working with vinyl. You may or may not have heard of some of these, but there are a few of my favorites that I put together for you to see and that I use quite often. So I hope that you enjoy this video and let's get into these hacks. So this first hack is to buy dental picks instead of using the vinyl pick that came with your machine. They are sharp, have different shapes, and you are sure to love them. I got this set from my local Harbor Freight. Hack number two is to use Hobby Lobby's cutting mats. They are Cricut dupes, but they work for Silhouette too, and they are so cheap. You use your 40% off coupon and you get a pack of two for a fraction of the cost. I seriously love these. This next hack is something I saw on TikTok and it is for you to cut your decal out without scissors. So basically all you need to do is draw a square box around your decal in your software, set that square cut line as a cardstock setting, although you may need to play around with your settings to find a good force and blade setting for your particular machine, and then keep your decal at the regular vinyl setting. And just make sure you are using an auto blade for this project or use two ratchet blades and set the correct settings for those. So as you can see, that square I made cut all the way through, leaving a perfectly cut decal that I don't have to use scissors to accomplish. This next hack is one of my favorites, the band-aid method. Have you ever had to weed a small decal and the pieces don't wanna stay down? Well, if you rip it super fast off like a band-aid, all of the pieces stay down so fast and so easy. This next tool that I have is something I recently bought and it is called a brayer. Sometimes using your squeegee can make your wrist sore and this brayer just gently rolls over your transfer tape making varnishing super easy. I will link the one that I have down below if you're interested but I absolutely love this new tool. I know that if you work with vinyl, you understand the stuff that gets stuck to your mat, all the little pieces of paper, hair, lint, and whatever else. All you need for this is a lint roller. You can get them really cheap at the Dollar Tree or Walmart and your squeegee.
you're just gonna take the very edge of your squeegee and get all of this paper and gunk off of your mat first. Once you have done that, you're gonna take your lint roller and just roll it over your mat to kind of get the excess lint and stuff off of it. And here is the final result. It's definitely not perfect, but it looks so much better than it did before. If you don't already know, vinyl relies on a clean surface to apply properly. Rubbing alcohol actually helps vinyl to adhere better too. So you will use this before applying your vinyl to anything. This next hack is to use the water method to help you apply your decal straight to any see-through surface. So I just measure how big my cup is and fill the water line exactly where I want it. And as you can see, it helps you get your decal centered and straight on your cup. So you know how sometimes when you get a new mat and it's really sticky and your vinyl won't come off right? It gets bent and sometimes breaks off. Well, all you have to do is roll your mat backwards and your vinyl comes off perfectly every time. I'm sure a lot of you know, but if you don't, you can sharpen your blade with aluminum foil, or if you're like me and you call it tin foil, <laughs> you just take a small amount and ball it up, put your blade into it several times, and it helps to clean and sharpen your blade. And if you keep your blade clean and sharp, it will sure to last a really, really long time. I've had this blade going on for a year and it's still doing great. All you have to do is unscrew your cap. It should be fairly easy to do. If you need help, you can use a tool to do this. But I just take my fingers and unscrew the cap. And please ignore all of the paint all over my fingers. I swear I always have stuff everywhere because I'm always painting and always crafting and I'm sure you understand. <laughs> I get a lot of questions on how I store my vinyl scraps and my vinyl rolls, and this is what I keep my vinyl scraps in. It is a rolling cart from Amazon. I will link it down below. I love this thing. So each drawer contains different colors. This drawer is pinks and purples, and each drawer is just organized by color, and so if I need a, enough vinyl for a small project, I will just know exactly where it is and get out what I need. So I definitely highly recommend this if you have a lot of vinyl scraps like me. So I have an entire video on how I made this, but it is a Dollar Tree DIY. This is how I store my vinyl rolls. I will link that video in the cards if you are interested in knowing how to make this. So 
So as I'm sure you know, vinyl makes a huge mess when you're weeding. It gets on absolutely everything. So all you need is a lint roller, and I swear you can use these things with so many different things. You just put your tiny weeded pieces onto the lint roller, and when you're done weeding, you just rip off that piece, and then you're on to the next one, and it's so much less mess. So this next hack is super crucial when you're learning vinyl and how to apply to curved surfaces such as this ornament. So here is the trick. You take your transfer tape and you're going to apply it to your vinyl like normal. And when the tape is on, you're gonna take your scissors and cut tiny slits in between each letter on the top and the bottom of your decal. Just be very careful to not cut all the way through. When I'm applying the decal, it has much more flexibility and the words go on perfectly and smoothly to my curved surface. All right, guys, so that wraps it up for this final hack video. I hope that you enjoyed it and hopefully learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And oh yeah, by the way, I'm also planning a Q&A. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments if you want that answered in that video, and I will be sure to get to that. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.